Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Modern Psychedelics podcast. Whoa, today is like going to be a bit of a meta episode because we're going to be talking about microdosing LSD. And today was one of my microdosing days. So I feel like there's going to be like some, yeah, it's kind of like meta. I'm speaking from the experience in the experience about the experience. Kind of cool. I'm here with my friend Jenny. You will have heard her on, I think it was episode 46, where we chatted about intentional recreational use of psychedelics. Hi, Jenny. Hello. Thanks for having me. Welcome back. We've been spending a lot of time together lately. Yeah. Yeah. But it's been great. I'm loving it. Yeah. It has been great. Yeah. So we're going to chat today about microdosing LSD and our experiences with it. And I want to start off by saying that I just started microdosing LSD about four weeks ago or six weeks ago or so. And wow, it's been so great. I love it. But you've been microdosing LSD for quite a long time, right? Like, you, it's yeah, kind of mm -hmm. your go to. Mm -hmm. um, probably two years, but obviously not all at once. Um, on and off of protocols for about two years. Yeah. Yeah, can you speak into a little bit about your experiences and what you've noticed from microdosing LSD? Yeah, totally. Um, so for me, um, I did originally start with psilocybin and I found that to be great and I was loving it. Um, but now with like health reasons, I've switched to LSD and for me, it is one that I feel like I'm more clear and it's definitely energizing because it's a stimulant. Um, I find too that it's easier to get my dose right with LSD versus psilocybin because with psilocybin, like if you're making your own capsules, like I was doing, um, you don't, you might not know, unless you're growing your own mushrooms, you might not know um, how the person was storing the mushrooms, what strain. Um, they could be so that varies the potency. Um, and I was making like a thousand or a hundred, not a thousand, a hundred caps at a time. And so I was finding it difficult to, to get the exact dosage right for each capsule with LSD. It's like just so much easier and simpler. And I've also been, um, in a better mood. I feel like when I microdose LSD, it's just, um, I find like that I show up better in relationships, I'm happier, and I'm more productive and creative. Yeah. Yeah, the the dosing piece is really important. I feel like since I've started dosing with LSD, like every day the experience is very similar, whereas with m mushrooms, it kind of felt a little more uncertain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. And you also mentioned to me that it really helped you with your, like your moon time. Oh yeah. Can you tell the people about pain. that? Yeah, for sure. Um, so I started experimenting and I'm just going to preface this with that. I'm not a doctor or suggest Always you gotta do, do this disclaimer. <laughs> for yourself. This is just what I've been doing. And, um, yeah. So yeah, just putting that out there. Um, do your own research people. <laughs> We're not yeah. doctors. Yeah. So, so since I struggled with like intense crippling cycle pain and have been for over 10 years, um, I sat, decided I saw some studies that came out on LSD and physical pain and same with psilocybin, but I haven't, um, experimented with this specific, um, regimen with psilocybin yet. So only with LSD, I've tried it, but. And I don't do it with every single cycle. It's like every third or fourth, but I find when I microdose around my period, so one week before and then during, um, the pain is significantly lower or even not even there. So that's been like quite life changing when you consider like you're, I'm usually like in bed for a whole day with this pain. Um, and when you can, change that it's it's quite transformational so yeah yeah that's incredible i'm gonna have to try that because i definitely have those pains as well um it reminds me of what dr jim fadiman said when he was on my podcast a few episodes back 
that we don't really know how microdosing works or like the quote unquote mechanism. It just seems like the overall systems in the body improve with microdosing and that the capacity for self healing improves with microdosing. How does it work? Mm -hmm. No idea. But that seems mm -hmm. to be what the consensus is from people sharing their experiences just because it helps with so many different conditions like whoa mm -hmm. whoa yeah it's quite bizarre yeah i i feel like since i've started well actually maybe i'll share a little bit about my intention behind microdosing lsd so as you guys know i was in costa rica and had a pretty big um, experience there and then coming back here and integrating it. It's been great, but there's also been a lot going on. Life is very full right now. There's a lot going on. You know, Jenny and I are, we've been working on a program that we're going to talk to you guys a little bit about at the end of this episode. Um, you know, I'm starting to see more coaching clients. I actually got a part-time job as a life coach. And yeah, the, the days are just very full and there's a lot going on. And I was really looking for support to help me hold all of life's commitments and demands um, with a little more grace and um, allow myself that space to integrate the BOGA experience while still really showing up for yeah, life's demands. And it has been amazing. <laughs> like, I feel like my brain just, yeah, it's just like firing on all cylinders in a very clear way. And my energy, like, I really do forget that I'm, I have taken a microdose on the days that I dose. And it'll be like three in the afternoon. And I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah, it's been a really great day and I do feel the effect the next day. Has your experience been like that? Just in, mm. just for like the sheer purpose of productivity and uh, I don't even like that word productivity, but yeah, just showing up to the commitments and demands of life with, with grace and making room for it all. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you in that. I feel like it's easier to access flow and ease that then leads into the creativity and productivity. So it's like all ingredients that if we are birthing something like a new program that uh, is super supportive. Yeah. And I feel that afterglow the next day as well, like the third day, not so much, but definitely the next day, my mood is still like very, very good. Um, I'm curious. I have a question for you. So like, for me, I noticed that and, and I just, I'm just realizing this now. I noticed that after ayahuasca experiences, I would tend to microdose with mushrooms after. And then after my five experience, a few weeks later, I microdosed with LSD. And so I paired earth medicines with microdosing and integrating with other earth medicines. And so same with the synthet synthetic, it was like synthetic ceremonies and then microdosing with LSD. So I'm curious with you for Iboga, um, how that experience has been. Do you feel like because I, Iboga is like so strong that you were like <laughs> way out there. And so the LSD is kind of like, how do you, how do you describe your experience in integrating that? Yeah. Great question. Well, I feel like Iboga is still working with me because the alkaloids actually do continue to produce in your liver. I think it's neuribogaine, but don't quote me on that. I might be wrong. Don't at me if I'm wrong, but there is an alkaloid that just continues to produce in your body for like three, six, up to 12 months after Iboga. So it like really does work with you. The one thing you want to avoid is alcohol. Um, and I haven't had mm -hmm a single sip. My mom made risotto for dinner one night and it had wine in it. And I was like, Oh, I'm not going to have it. Cause I just, I was, I'm not messing with, with, um, oh, with wow. that, but I definitely gave myself a lot of space in between Iboga and starting microdosing. And honestly, if we didn't have this 
very full schedule right now, I probably would not have microdosed. It was very much a tool to support me through such a full season. Right. Um, but no, it's been really great. I think it kind of has weirdly enough kept me grounded and helped me to reintegrate into life after such a powerful experience. Mm. And then, so the microdose is like really helping me to do the things that I need to get done throughout the day. But then the boga is still working with me because I'm like bringing this, my new self, my new energy to everything that I do. So yeah, as I'm speaking into this out loud, they really are like a beautiful uh, synthesis at mm. the moment because yeah, wow. It's just been so busy that I've been showing up in such a new way. Oh my gosh. I just love medicine <laughs> so much. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, I think it's so great. And I think like the way that you're utilizing and like developing that practice and like just practicing microdosing in general is super intentional. It's not like, oh my gosh, this is so hectic and I like need this to get through, you know, you're more of like, okay, no, I know that like the next six to eight weeks are going to be really full and this is like my partner in it and we're going to work together and I'm going to use this method or modality or practice to um, just enhance your productivity and, and not like feeling like you need it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, totally. Totally. And I think also with us launching this microdosing program, it had been so long since I had done like a proper microdosing protocol. And I knew that we were about to hold people through a microdosing experience. So for me, it was really important to experience a protocol close to us holding people through that experience. Mm -hmm. Cause yeah, cause like I said, it, it's such a tool for me and I went quite a long time without doing a microdosing protocol, like sure, like a hiker dose or whatever they call it. Like just like every now and then, like if I'm doing something and I want to like elevate the experience with microdosing, but like a proper protocol, it's been a while. Yeah. What yeah. have been your intentions for this round? Yeah. And I think that's, great too because you haven't microdosed with lsd so your previous experience was psilocybin and if we are walking people through this program and somebody wants to work with lsd then you know you have that experience too um so my intentions right now like what i was saying is around yeah accessing ease accessing flow so that we can really like i can really um be able to to have that creativity and that productivity for this program and everything else that we're holding. Like I have multiple clients um, and so my hands are in a few different projects and I find that when I microdose LSD, it really like helps me like, when you are full-time freelancing, <laughs> I feel like it takes a lot of energy just to like switch your mind to be like, okay, now I have to think of like this target audience or this I ideal avatar right and i need to write in this voice or this tone or um you know just just something like that so it's like i'm constantly switching between gears and um with lsd i feel like it that transition is a bit smoother and doesn't take as much energy it's flowy it's it's flowy <laughs> um, flow we love flow <laughs> love it <laughs> Yeah, that's a really interesting benefit that I haven't heard anyone speak into before, like that it allows you to kind of switch gears more easily. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah, it makes sense. Just overall more flow. More flow. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, I'd, love, I'd love for you to talk a little bit more about like how microdosing, uh, how you can access flow state and, and while microdosing. Yeah, so I... I'm trained in core energy coaching and I work with these seven levels of energy, which you're about to become super educated on because we're going to do an energy leadership index debrief for you. Um, oh, I just love the seven levels of energy. They're so, they just make so much sense. And 
essentially, you know, level one energy is um, that victim energy when we feel really hopeless and kind of like, what's the point? That's kind of level one energy and level seven energy is way up at the top there. It's kind of like that very psychedelic, egoless, pure creator consciousness, pure joy, pure passion. Like we can't really resonate there fully, but it's nice when we get to touch it a little bit. Um, and the cool thing about flow is that it actually lives in level six energy. So it's what we would call a highly anabolic level of energy where we're really far removed from that victim consciousness. And we're really aware of the ways that we use our mind, the stories that we tell ourselves. And we have access to, we have access to just higher levels of awareness, right? Our perception is really, really open. And this is why I love the seven levels of energy as a coaching methodology, along with psychedelics, because those higher levels of energy really are very psychedelic energies mm -hmm. and realms. Mm -hmm. So there's so much associated with accessing flow state, but it's essentially when we're able to really be present with what we're doing, right? Like I'm here having this conversation with you and I'm fully here mm -hmm. and I'm not thinking about the next question. I'm not thinking about what I have to do next. I'm not thinking about where this is going. I'm just like fully present and presence is such a powerful tool, such a powerful, um, well, it's a, it's not a tool. It's a, it's a level of awareness when your awareness is in the present moment. Um, there's also other things that are associated with this, like level six flow energy, like being very oriented towards growth and mastery and seeing everything in life as an opportunity and kind of moving away from that, like, win lose perspective because when we're seeing the world through these you know lower levels of energy where um things are really black and white or right or wrong and we kind of see the world through this conflict lens then it's it, like we're kind of just forcing things to happen in the quote unquote right way or we're mm -hmm. forcing an outcome so that we can quote unquote win whereas when we're kind of more growth oriented and we don't really mind if we win or lose, uh, we're more open to just what comes because we know that yeah. no matter what happens, we can learn from it. So those are some of the like milestones. And if you guys attended our workshop this week, you would have heard us talk a little more in depth about that. But yeah, it's a really approachable way to look at flow because it really puts the power in your hands, in your energy, instead of having to like... Yeah, read a really dense book about flow state, <laughs> which, is <laughs> which is something that we both tried to do. Um, it's like really not theory oriented. It's simply energy that you have full control over. Yeah. Yeah. I love the way that you explain that so much. Yeah. It's, it's all right there. Um, and to like, it's all about experimenting and bringing that into your awareness. So like, some people think that they have to do breath work to access flow or they have to do, you know, they have to blare music in the morning before their meetings, you know, it's like, <laughs> which I do, <laughs> I do personally, but it's all about it's seeing what works for you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What helps you kind of access that flow state? And well, I want to, I want to preface this by saying that like, Again, we can't fully be here all the time, but we can create conditions so that we can access it yeah. more often and with more ease and micro dosing. I mean, what was <laughs> I don't know what that voice was, but <laughs> micro dosing is such an incredible tool to kind of reduce some of that friction, right? To create mm -hmm. those conditions for flow mindset coaching, mindset work, uh, energy coaching, being aware of these energy levels, another little tool. What helps you create conditions for flow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good question. Um, so I 
I'm all, I just am aware that I'm way more energetic in the morning and product productive in the morning. So I tend to enter that state between like 10 and 1 PM. I feel like, um, for me, it all starts in the morning and adding in the microdosing into my morning routine or my ritual, but like in a simple way. So it's like, I will do my morning routine, but adding the microdosing piece in it just makes it even more powerful. And so I will wake up, I'll put the kettle on, I'll make myself a tea or a matcha. I like snuggle up in my bed, with my house coat, and I grab my journal. And I love these I, visuals, by the way, I can like really see it. <laughs> my fuzzy slippers. Um, and I put my journal where my phone would be so that I'm like, instead of reaching for my phone, I reach for the journal. So I'm just like switching out a habit. And then I set my intention. I take my dose. I write the day, the intention down again. And I do like a pause check-in. So I check in physically, uh, intellectually, emotionally, and spiritually. And I just make a few notes about that. Um, I always document my dose amount and the time I've taken it and any like substances or supplements I've taken, which then also helps me be accountable to the supplements I'm taking because I'm on like a strict protocol, as you know. And um, what else do I do? I write down my aura ring scores and the day of my cycle too. So like the yesterday I had like a crazy headache and I ha and now I can like, I have a document of like what day of my cycle I was in. So that's kind of just like a data point for me. And then I'll put on music and I'll flow into a journaling practice and make myself like a nutritious breakfast or whatever. And then by the time I sit at my desk, I'm feeling like so good because I just got all the thoughts that are like bouncing around my head. And like, you know, the ones that you sometimes like wake up to, you're like, why am I thinking about like project management at like 6 a.m. <laughs> or something so once i write that all out then i'm just like feel feel more grounded the music the microdose the nutrition the supplements they're all like my kind of formula for accessing flow yeah yeah so intentional so intentional and how often like say you go through that whole process and you set the intention and you check in with yourself and really ask yourself like, okay, like this is how I feel and this is how I would like my day to go. Right. Mm -hmm. How often do you check back in with yourself at the end of the night and say, wow, yeah, that intention, I really carried that intention with me throughout the day. Yeah. I mean, well, when I'm in a microdosing protocol, I'm using the six week intention journal with it. So there's an AM check-in that I fill out and then there's a PM check-in. So when I go before bed and I go to pick up my journal, then I'm like reflecting on, oh, okay, like this is how the day went. Um, I look at my notes and my remarkable too. And I'm like, okay, this is, this was productive. These are the tasks I got, I finished, you know? Um, so I find it super helpful to have that accountability piece in there or in the journaling piece where you're like, it's always an iteration. It's always a reflection. It's always a, yeah, looking at it as growth and seeing how like the next day you can bring those wins or the, that feeling into the next day. Right. Yeah. 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 It's, it, I, I'm, I've been using your journal as well. Where is it? Oh, it's right over there. It's at a reason <laughs> right there. Yeah. I, I love I it. it. It's been such a like gentle, gentle, accountability partner like it just doesn't feel forced to me mm. and yeah I don't know if it's because of the way you laid it out or the like the vibe of it but it just feels like this gentle little friend that I have oh. <laughs> kind of guiding okay, me I'm gonna like <laughs> I'm gonna take that sound snippet and um turn that into a review <laughs> thank you no that's so sweet that's so sweet no problem <laughs> Yeah, it, it just feels very like non mm, intrusive in my life. And I'm very, as you know, I'm very, I'm very like selective about the practices I allow into my life right now. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's, it's been really, really nice. What are, what are some of the, like when you were creating this journal, what was your intention behind it? What did you want to give to people? Yeah. 
great question um so i think like if i'm going to call something a six week intention journal that's exactly where you have to start and so i started with okay like how can i make every single page bring in that intention and and show intentionality in all of the context and so like at the beginning of the journal you'll find a page that has a land acknowledgement and it it is um acknowledging those who have worked with the medicines before us and those who have created the microdosing protocols um to, that we use today um and when you go further through it, it goes into talking about just that. Like we didn't want it to be super, super structured. And it talks about like, if a question doesn't, doesn't resonate with you, like, you know, cross it out and write your own. And this is your journal. This is your experience and you can adjust it and tweak it however you like, just like you can adjust your flow and your morning routine. You can do the same with the journal. Um, we have a section, uh, two that talks about like, before you begin. So really asking yourself like the questions around your intention, respecting the medicine, um, creating a safe container um, for you and others while you're going to be a a approaching these next six weeks. Um, and then we dive into, yeah, like discovering your intentions. So there's a lot of different questions in there that um, are just reflective and can help with self exploration. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot there. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, um, I put, I put like my heart and soul really into it. And I also am like getting a lot of feedback from people. And so it's not, I want this to be a co-created thing where people in the microdosing community are reaching out and they're like, you know what? I really loved this, but you know, I think this would, like be of the perfect compliment or something and so that's how it's going to iterate and that's like i think that's a really beautiful part of having a product like this where you do have community and you have um yeah you're just you're just respecting all different perspectives so that you can create and let it flow how it wishes <laughs> mm. yeah. yeah it really is such a beautiful and perfect expression of who you are as a person. Um, yeah, for those of you who don't know, Jenny and I are very good friends. So uh, this isn't just like a guest that I have on that I don't know <laughs> much about. I actually know her pretty well. And just the intentionality and the respect and the honor and the co-creative, like this is all just like Hallmark Jenny pieces. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's so sweet of you to say. Well, I say the same about you too. Like it is incredible with how transparent and honest and authentic your podcast really is. Like I don't feel oh. like it's, yeah, it, you you do an amazing job with that. So uh, that's why I'm so excited for our program because- I know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, there, I have, there, there, there you have it guys. Yeah, <laughs> what, you see, what you see is what you get. <laughs> I have proof now. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I think let, the last question I want to ask you before we get into talking about flow formula is how, as an experienced microdoser, as the creator of a microdosing journal, how do you know that it's time to start microdosing? Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. So for me, I only microdose probably like three or four times a year. So we don't have any research on the long-term impact of microdosing and it does affect our serotonin levels in our brain and in our gut. So I'm like, I take caution when approaching that because um, our serotonin is obviously important and all the other chemicals that it affects. But um, for me, I always ask myself, why do I want to microdose? So what is the intention behind it? Is it like, is there something coming up that I know I'm going to invest a lot of my energy and purpose into and that I feel like could benefit and I still have time to, you know, cook myself meals. I'm not just like going for takeout or, you know, um, 
binge watching Netflix and escaping my reality. Like, it's like, okay, this is intentional. I'm in my like zone of um, creating. And that's usually when I, the one I microdose LSD. And then with psilocybin, I think psilocybin is great for transition periods. Um, a lot of people, I've, I haven't tried this with LS, or sorry, with psilocybin, but right now with um, microdosing LSD, uh, I'm using, I'm utilizing that because uh, I'm also working with a counselor. And so, um, but I've heard many people talk about how psilocybin helps with that because it helps you tune, attune to your emotions. So, yeah, I mean, I think it's not like I'm going to say you should microdose every like four months or whatever. I think it's just like really tuning into where you're at. Can you invest the time in being intentional with microdosing, mm -hmm. with developing the practice of it? Because it's not a magic pill. We like the whole point of working with these medicines is it's a relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so well said. Um, I love how you, you just put into words something that I was never able to, which is that. Do I have time and space to hold this microdosing protocol right now? Because I'm just thinking back to all of the times that I've done microdosing protocols out of like probably a bit of like desperation because mm. I was like feeling a way that I didn't want to feel. And I thought that the microdosing <laughs> would help me. And I just didn't take it seriously, though, because the the intention wasn't strong enough. It was more of that force energy. It was more yeah. desperation. It was more grasping. But really asking yourself, like, do I have time to take this seriously? Yeah. And really honor this as a practice of medicine in my life. So good. Exactly. It should be like treated just as a ceremony, going into a ceremony, like preparing for a ceremony. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. So we want to talk to you guys about our program that we're offering. And this is very exciting because, wow, it's been three years now of this podcast and I've never really put anything out as a way for you guys to work with, with me. And, um, I'm, I'm really excited about that. So yeah, we're launching this program and it's called flow formula and it's not a microdosing program, but it is. <laughs> Yeah, we really designed it as more of a group coaching, life optimization, lifestyle, I'm going to say lifestyle alignment. I, we were using the word lifestyle overhaul, but uh, I feel like it's more of a lifestyle alignment program that utilizes the practice of microdosing within community, within a beautiful container to look at various areas in our life where we are forcing it and where we are grasping and where we're just exhausting our energy. That's the thing about when we're not in flow, it's just fucking exhausting. <laughs> it's so exhausting. And the more that I work through, the more that I work through core energy coaching as like a coachee, like I see a coach every week, like the more and more I'm able to access just complete flow with life. And it's amazing to just be in this place of, wow, acceptance and allowing and trusting and growth. And I know all these sound words like might sound kind of fluffy and... <laughs> not real, but I'm telling you, they're real. Like when you're really able to live with the flow of life and just like trust that the next brick will be laid out in front of you and, um, you know, stop fighting against what is that is flow. When we can really merge with the present moment and with what is while looking towards our future, right? Using this present moment awareness and acceptance and trust to lay those bricks down, to move towards the future that we desire. Wow, it's so light. <laughs> it's 
It's so nice. And the, the program's really designed around the energy of flow, which I spoke a little bit into, but that's really the foundational work that we're approaching this entire eight week experience with that is going to really be amplified through the practice of microdosing. Wow. You did such a good job in explaining that. <laughs> Are you in? Do I'm, you in. Join? I'm in. I want to join. <laughs> and I'm, just, I'm so excited to listen to you teach this because you can just really tell that you're walking the walk and you are living it you are breathing it you are doing it and i think that that's like why we make such a great team because you're showing up for the curriculum and like holding the structure and the scaffolding of it all and giving people you know um the the context that's like easily digestible and then i'm coming in where we are like developing and building community together and so you know putting smaller groups together based on their intentions for the program based on maybe what blocks or challenges they're working through so that they're like really aligned with the people that they're um paired with and then um allowing them like providing them prompts with um and practices to connect with each other each week so it's not only like that it's a group coaching microdosing program it's also this like community that is a safe container to be vulnerable to hold each other accountable to share about your experience and when we share about our experience then we can learn and grow from other people's mm -hmm. um processes so yeah i'm just i'm so excited <laughs> i'm so excited too and yeah i'm so grateful that we're doing this together because you're emphasis and devotion to community like in all areas of life whoa it's amazing and you're so good at creating online community and i'm like i fully have trust <laughs> in you holding that community torch and like leading the way with that because i know it's just like such a big value for you and mm. i i know that because i've seen you work with many different brands in the psychedelic space and i know how you work and it's always from this place of co-creation and collaboration and we're stronger together and that is being applied to this program because yeah when we come together in community and ugh, especially in a place where like some people have just never felt truly seen mm. in their lives and mm -hmm. like truly unconditionally loved in their lives. And that happens in community like this. Yeah. What is your intention for the community space that we're building inside of Flow Formula? Hmm. I think the intention is, is just what you said about co-creating something together. And so this is a pilot program We're this is the first time we're ever running this. And so, you know, it's, it's encouraging people to show up as they are and really setting the foundation for them to feel like they can open up and they can share vulnerably. And in that, like, it's these strong friendships that will form and it's not I don't want people to just join this program and then never talk to each other again. Like that's not what we're building here. We're really building like a network, an ecosystem, a um, supportive place where people can then come back to and check in months later or years later with each other. So it's not a one and done. This is um, long term. And I'm personally like so invested in that vision. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be so fun. And we, <laughs> I think something that makes you and I unique is that we <laughs> don't want to fill people's heads with crap that we may or may not know is real. <laughs> uh -huh. Like we're both um, very supportive of people finding what works for them. And what this program is, is like, okay, if you're expecting to come into this and t 
tell us and hear us tell you like, okay, like this is exactly what you need to do to be successful. And this is what I did. Like, this is what Lana did. This is what Jenny did. And like, this is what worked for us. And we know it's going to work for you. That is not, (laughs) that is not at all what is going to happen. This program is like a response to that kind of model. Yeah. Because we've both been on our journeys to uncover what works for us individually. And I don't know about you, but I've really been, wow, throughout probably the last two years, been shedding all the things I should be doing. Yeah. And what my morning routine should look like. Morning routine. (laughs) (laughs) And we really wanted to create this container with enough structure and information to empower you to find what works for you. So it's called Flow Formula because every week we're going to be putting t- pulling together little pieces that are going to create your formula, mm-hmm. your unique formula that's going to help you access flow, the energy of flow, not just for microdosing, but in life. Like we want you to walk away from this. Like with tools that just support you in no matter what you're doing. Yeah. In a way that, in a way that resonates with you, it's not, like I said, you got to throw a lot of shit at the wall and know what sticks for you. And what my formula looks like is not going to be the same as anyone else's. And I think that's the really, like the, the value in, in this program. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be so good. And we have, like, we have Laura Dawn coming, who is going to be a guest in a few weeks. She's incredible and has been such a mentor to you, Jenny. And I I really, really, really um, look up to her as well. And we have Manesh Gurin coming. He's been on the podcast twice. He's the psychedelic scientist. We have some guest teachers. Um, this isn't just like me and Jenny telling people what to do. Like we've uh-huh. really, we've really, um, put the call out to our community and our network, um, so that we can have a group of leaders supporting this cohort in a really powerful way. Yeah. And we're staying in our lane. Like we're not experts on the nervous system. So we're bringing yeah. an expert in for you. Like we're not going to yeah. pretend like we are. Right. Yeah. 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 So we're, we're going to have like the first month really is, well, we're starting with fu- fundamentals of microdosing. That's going to be the first week. And by the way, Jenny is mailing everyone a six week intention <laughs> journal for you to use throughout the program. So that's like an amazing bonus. You guys are going to love this. Um, we're starting with like, we are going to Talk about how to microdose, but that is the tip of the iceberg. And then we're moving into like deep mindset and belief work. We're going to be looking at stories that have been created in your life and the energy behind those stories and uncovering these blocks that you may not have noticed before, um, or maybe you've been wanting to look at and you know they're there, but you've just kind of been putting a pin in it. Well, this is your opportunity to look at them. (laughs) And we're going to be spending, yeah, like I think three solid weeks looking at beliefs and turning them into turning any of those limiting beliefs, those assumptions, those ways that we're not quite seeing the world in a clear way. We're going to be just scrubbing away and wiping away our glasses so that we can see things more clearly so that we can start acting more clearly. And then we have, we have a, like Jenny's going to be teaching a module on biological balance and nutrition. We have a nervous system expert, Adam Lewis, coming in to teach us about uh, nervous system regulation techniques, and he's going to be guiding a breathwork class. Um, And then we're closing with a beautiful closing ceremony, right? It's going to be really, really nice. Yeah, we're excited. (laughs) We're excited. Okay, let's wrap this up. Um, So if you guys are interested in joining Flow Formula, I'm going to leave the I'm going to leave the links in the show notes. Um, Registration is going to be open until March 15th. Is it? It's the 14th. March 14th. Yeah. March 14th. And then we have our early bird price of 950. 
USD. going until yeah 950 usd until what day is it <laughs> i don't know the dates <laughs> i'll edit this out <laughs> yeah i need to look i think it's february <laughs> Let's look at the dashboard, shall we? Oh yeah. Okay, I got it. Got so it. we have our early bird price of nine fifty USD from February eighth to February twentieth, and then after that, we're increasing the price to one thousand two hundred. Uh, we do have payment plans available, and we are also we have a few spots open for um, like access at accessible rates as well. That about the because this is a pilot program, um, anyone who attends the first cohort of this will always have access and a reduced rate for all future co cohorts. Yeah, yeah, that's a cool little feature that that we have. So yeah, we're really really excited about this. We've been working on this for many months, and we're so excited to be offering it to the community. If this is something that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and sign up. If you have questions, we are both always available to answer them. And yeah, another actually cool little bonus that we're including is a list of vetted and trusted microdose companies. You guys message both of us all of the time. And we just, we just can't A, respond to everyone, but B, um, kind of publicly share things like that because it's technically not legal. So we're going to be sharing a really nice list and there's going to be some discount codes in there too for people who sign up. So that's something to look forward to. Anything else we want to share before we sign off here? I don't think so. Yeah. We're excited. Yeah. Microdosing is just such an amazing way to use psychedelics in day-to-day -day life. And even though it's not necessarily a psychedelic experience, it definitely is such a good tool. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> uh -ho. Well, we hope to see you guys there. Sending you much love. Bye.